<laughs> he's done a lot of things on this ground. I'm not sure if he's ever done Yeah, to play 100 games at, uh, at this footy club is a huge honour. Um, you know, it means you, you get your name on the locker and uh, you go down in the club's history. So, it's, yeah, it's a really big honour. Uh, look, it's not something I've focused on too heavily. I think it, you really just live week by week in AFL. But, um, yeah, certainly, as I said, to, to play 100 is something I'm really proud of. Oh, look, I think to win our, um, you know, the, to win our first final that I've been here last year against Essendon was, was probably the, um, the highlight um, and was you know, really a point signifying that we'd come a long way, but, but certainly still a long way to go. Yeah, look, there's been a huge amount of change at the club in the last five years and uh, a huge amount of growth as well from... Um, you know, the facilities, more importantly to the playing group, um, to their maturity levels and, and professionalism, and, uh, you know, right through to the, the coaching staff and the admin. I think the club's in a lot better place now than it was five years ago. As I touched on, still a long way to go as well. It's a really close group here, and, uh, you know, the players are really proud to play for this footy club and, and really want to achieve something. So we're, we're all striving to, um, to make sure that happens. It means that over the football. Trying to lift his team, trying to earn a free kick. Look at him go. Still inside the boundary, Chris Judd. Virtuoso performance. Oh, wonderful by Chris Judd. Well, I think he immediately changed everyone's mindset at the club, how professional is the way he prepares. And um, I mean, I just enjoyed coming to watch training. I'm always here watching. And uh, to see Chris Judd train, especially when he first got here, uh, he was fresh and hungry, and uh, as he always is now. But. Uh, I think he just changed everyone's habits of training. Eating off field, of course, he's, uh, he knows exactly what goes in his body. Not like some of the old blokes from the, uh, yesteryear, but he's changed all our blokes, uh, all for the better. Well, I, I think all captains lead by example, but to uh, see Judd, everything he does on and off the field is uh, worth watching. And uh, he, uh, he speaks, um, he's not the normal footballer, I don't reckon. He, he speaks a little bit uh, better than most, um, and he's a little bit comes from different areas, and I enjoy listening to him speaking always. He's, uh, what a great captain he is for our footy club. Oh, it's certainly great uh, that any player can play 100 games for, at, at one club. Uh, obviously Juddy's uh, played 100 games in the number five Guernsey now, which is fantastic. Uh, there's obviously some other names on that, that locker are quite relevant. Um, so yeah, it's certainly uh, nice to, to fill that locker up with, with the likes of a uh, name like Chris Judd, but uh, certainly good for any player to, to get 100 games at any club. Certainly our haircuts are very similar. Uh, Juddy is obviously a little bit slower than I was when I played uh, for football, but uh, no, you know, he's an absolute star. Um, I was a battling halfback flanker, so uh, he, he's got his name under my name just to prop me up a little bit on that locker, and that's what he would have been doing if we played in the same era. But certainly, he's a fantastic player and obviously a great leader of this club, and uh, certainly a great role model for all the players here. You know, even. Uh, Today and on uh, Sunday, he was first out on the track, kicking with um, one of the young guys. Um, last to leave, he's, he's just a pure professional. Max doesn't quite get a jut off, brilliant! How's that pick up under pressure? And um, I had a little bit of an inside word because I got the same manager as uh, as Juddy, so Paul kind of just told me and um, yeah, heard heard it firsthand, and then uh, came here for the press conference when he came across. So uh, it was uh, good to have a big fella. Come from the uh, West Coast Eagles. Yeah, he's the ultimate professional, Juddy. He's, uh, yeah, I've learned a lot from him, um, just not out in the field, but also everything that goes with that, um, you know, nutrition and uh, the way he carries himself off the field. So, um, yeah, he's been great for myself just to uh, to look at, you know, firsthand and, and pick up some uh, some points and, you know, some of the ways he um, goes about his footy. It's uh, been good to, uh, to be there playing alongside him. Um, oh, he leads by example. He's he, d he does speak. He's, he does speak a lot more than what he probably did at the, at the start. But um, yeah, just a bloke that leads by example, and um, you can always uh, trust he'll do the right thing by the team. Oh, he's, he's got white line fever. He, um, he's a bit of a nerd. Jody loves, loves to read the, uh, the Fin Review, and has got a shocking laugh. But um, no, he's, uh, he's, a, he's definitely a great bloke off the field.